Well, do you need EQ Mod? And the simple answer is, no, you don't need it. But it really came in handy, and since I've been using it over the last couple of weeks, uh, a couple of things have um, fixed. We're, we're fixed because of using EQ Mod. First off, uh, guiding. I can do pulse guiding again. I was doing pulse guiding with my Cirrus mount originally, and, it, and I got it to work with the hand controller. I went to the Atlas mount, worked fine with the Atlas mount, the pulse guiding. Then I went back to the Cirrus mount again, and all of a sudden it doesn't work. So I don't know, and I re-downloaded all the drivers and all whatnot, and it still wouldn't work. I don't know what happened, but whatever. I hooked up BQ Mod, and the thing works perfect now. Pulse guiding is back on. I was never able to run Stellarium along with that, uh, Astrophotography Tool at the same time, but it works fine now with EQ Mod. I know people mention this Poth guiding or Poth settings, but I, know I tried that and that never fixed it. So whatever, it, it works fine with EQ Mod. The other thing it fixed was my parking. Uh, when I tried to park the scope using uh, Astrophotography Tool, I pressed the park button and it sent it in the opposite direction. And I tried and I was fiddling around with the settings and nothing ever worked, but I hooked up EQ Mod and that works fine. So those are just some of the things that it fixed right away and I, I'm thinking it's fixed some other problems too as I go along. Okay, so I have my hand controller and I can get rid of the hand controller. I don't need that when I'm doing imaging. I'll still keep the hand controller because if I want to go out and do some outside observing and I don't want my computer with me, I want to control the scope somehow, so I can use the hand controller for that. Here's that ST4 cable that I can get rid of. It's no longer needed, and I got some big plans uh, for this thing. Let me introduce what I wanted to do with this ST4 cable. Dylan O'Donnell recommended uh, taking this and pouring some explosives on it. So I'm going to do a, something similar to my ST4 cable, and here's what I mean. Alright, well welcome, we're going to do our 2019 version of thermite, the thermite reaction. I've got iron oxide mixed with aluminum inside this little flower pot, and I've got my little detonator over here, which is potassium, per, potassium chlorate and sugar, and I'm going to put that into a little... Little, little hill in here and I put a little spot on it. I'm also going to see what happens to this ST4 cable that Dylan O'Donnell recommended um, doing. He recommended putting it into an explosive to get rid of it because it's no longer needed and we'll see how what happens with that in this reaction. And in order to get the reaction started I've got some concentrated sulfuric acid and that will react with the potassium chlorate detonator. So here goes. Oh that's hot. That stuff that went down is, is liquid iron. <laughs> it got so hot that it melted the Hi everybody. This is what this EQ Mod direct cable is. I actually got it from High Point Scientific and it's the Pegasus, the Pegasus EQ Mod direct cable. And let me show you where it plugs into it. It plugs right into here where the hand controller would normally go. And then the other end would plug into a computer or you could, I've got it plugged into my USB hub which controls everything else and then that in turn is plugged into the computer. Anyways, we'll see you later. Well, howdy folks. Let me show you how I set EQ Mod up. Basically, I followed Chuck's astrophotography advice. I'll post a link so you can see what he did. So I, if, I would highly advise you to watch his video. I'm going to try not to do exactly what he did. And there, there were some changes. But anyways, so here's his uh, website. And I'll provide a link so you can just click on it too. Hi, Chuck. Anyway, so I found his website and I used his Skywatcher EQ Mod Pro setup and I followed, pretty much followed his procedure. Basically what you got to do is you go to the SourceForge website and 
download EQ mod and you would do this EQ ASCOM you click on that and then you go down to the second one down here uh, or actually the first one and you'd click on that that's the latest version of EQ mod once that's downloaded and I assume you have all the drivers for your mount and all that other in your whatever peripherals you have you, I, I'm assuming you've already downloaded those things those drivers so once you got the EQ mod installed what you can do is you would look for let me look for it for you after you get it installed it's probably over here under EQ mod new you'd come over here where it says toolbox and you'd click on toolbox and what would appear I've already got it saved over here give it a second this would pop up. It's your toolbox and the first thing you do is press register and hopefully it would click OK. Everything, everything would be say OK. Then you'd go over to driver setup and this box would appear. It's the EQ mod driver setup and none of these things were highlighted. So you would press auto detect. You would set the timeout to 2000. You can put retry to 2. Now this is where I differed from Chuck. Chuck recommended going to 11500 for baud rate, but you'd have to go and change your uh, change your setting inside your computer to the that baud rate. I tried that and it did not work for me, so I had to go back to the default setting of 9600, and that seems to work fine. And you'd want to go to your uh, COM port, whatever COM port your USB is going under, that's one you'd have to. That's one you'd have to use. The way to find that is, or the way I do it, anyways, I go into settings, and you would go to uh, what is it? Uh, uh, device manager. I just, if you can't find it, you don't know where it is on your computer. Every com every computer seems to have a different places so I just typed in device manager and it usually pops up give it a second and here's your device manager and then you come down to find out where it says ports double click on it and that's how I found out which which one was mine I unplugged it and plugged it and it was pretty obvious that it was a COM3 this is where you would change your baud rate if you had to change your baud rate you double click on it and you'd go to port settings and here's where you can change your baud rate but again I tried what Chuck recommended which was 115 but that didn't work I had to use the 9600 for whatever reason alright once that's done you can go to Windows Priority I left that I left the local dependent I changed my thing up here again this said nothing here so I just put home and I programmed my longitude and latitude in here and I even programmed my elevation and I left everything else pretty much as is I, oh, I, I think this was already preset once I had my um, once I, I filled in all this other stuff this this is what appeared down here and I left that alone and ASCOM options I left all this alone I, th I believe these two were highlighted and so I left it that way Okay, then you press OK, and then that screen goes away. So now everything should be all set. And what you would do next is you would press ASCOM Connect. And here it is. It's, it appears. So right now I've got my mount parked. Okay. So if you uh, scroll outwards like this, you can see you got this whole set of features. And... You've got your my home, my site information is all in here. Uh, I left all this alone. I have not changed that yet. And I made sure my uh, park mode is park position home. I made sure this was, uh, scroll, let me show you what you can do. You can do all sorts of different things. But I, I left my park at home right now. You can reset your park to somewhere else if you want. Now here's one thing that I had to change this is your pulse guiding settings when it first comes on it's defaulted way down here to point one 
And when I first tried to turn on PHD2 to do my guiding, it took over 10 minutes. And it usually didn't, usually doesn't take that long. But I read some directions, read some other the PHD2 settings, and I read the ASCOM manual, and it recommended changing this. So I, I put it to 0.5 now, and now it takes like under three minutes to, uh, to guide. So yeah, this is important right here. And I pretty much left everything else as is. All right, the next thing I want to show you how to do is how to use Stellarium with EQMED. Now, first off, in order to do it, you got to download this program called Stellarium Scope. A uh, Stellarium Scope. Presumably you already have Stellarium. And you just come over here. I just typed in Stellarium Scope. Man, here is a download. You download it. And it downloads without too much fanfare. And it'll put the shortcut on your screen. So you turn that on. Okay. And this, sorry, hold on. I don't know what it is with this program, this Stellarium Scope, but it minimizes it every, every time I... Uh, utilize it. Anyways, so yeah, here it goes again. Okay, so this appears and you would this appears, you would press select mount and then you'd press the connect button and I didn't change any of these settings, they were all there. Then you'd press update uh, star and configuration and again make sure this connect button is connected and you would next make sure that your EQ mod is uh, not parked and it's already unparked and press start Stellarium. It takes a second for Stellarium to connect up. Alright, and so now we can just come over here and I'm going to scroll to the north button and there it is, there's my scope. Now I'm going to make it, or I'm going to take the atmosphere away, I should say. Alright, and then you could uh, feel free to move it normally, like you would normally uh, move your scope. If I go to um, a star over here, LF, I would press Control 1, and there goes my mount. It's going to move to that star. Now this is also important for alignment because I used to have to align the scope using the hand controller. But how do you do it with EQMod if you don't have a hand controller? You can get a secondary hand controller, if you will, to connect up to it. Or which you can you do it with Stellarium because if it's not exactly on uh, Aloth right now, this star that I've got in there, what I can do is I can use the hand controller and do some fine adjustments to get to this star and then I would press control 3 and it would lock in those coordinates and then the scope would be aligned. So that's how you can align the scope with uh, Stellarium. Okay, let me minimize this and actually I'm going to, I don't know why it keeps happening. It's only the Stellarium scope that that keeps happening with. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this, well actually I'll leave it on. I'm going to go to this, I'm going to leave it, I'm not, you know I'm going to leave it like that. Sorry about this folks, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm going to turn on astrophotography tool right now. And the reason this is so important is because I can actually connect telescope connected. my telescope now and still have it run Stellarium. It's still on, it, I can use Stellarium and this astrophotography tool, or presumably any other program if you're running uh, Sequence Generator Pro, you can do that as well. You can run it both at the same time. I was unable to do that using that hand controller for whatever reason. And I know some people mentioned using that POF setting uh, when you're setting up your astrophotography tool and Stellarium, but that never seemed to work for me. It only works now with uh, Stellarium uh, when I when I downloaded this EQ mod. Anyways, let's see what else I can show you. Okay, the other thing I can show you is when I was 
using my uh, trying to do some scripts with astrophotography tool some of the scripts would never work like when I tried to park the scope it would park it in the other direction it would park it in the west for whatever reason but now that I have EQ mod set up all I gotta do is just press park scope and it sets it up right where park is uh, normally where I normally have it set which is pointing to the north almost looking at Polaris. So that's just some of the things using EQMod has fixed uh, with my or corrected with um, my setup that I have here. So anyways uh, that's all I can think of for now and hopefully this helped and we'll see. You.